and I realized that there was, there was, we'd just gone to all vote by mail fraud. That's what I call it. All vote by mail fraud in Oregon. There were no polling places, no places to go in the neighborhood and go meet your friends and go, you know, walk into a booth and, and, and vote. No, you got the ballot in the mail. You and your dog and your cat and your long dead relatives, underage children, people that have moved out of the house, people that are still living in there um, for, 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 the, for voting purposes, still residing in their college dorm fraternity or sorority. Um, it, 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 cartoon characters, anybody and everybody can now be registered to vote if it's all vote by mail fraud. And that's what it is in Oregon. That's what it is in Washington State. That's what it, for all intents and purposes, is in California. And that, my friends, is why the West Coast is called the Left Coast. So, in any case, um, I want to show you, take you a little tour of Memory Lane on YouTube. And the reason is, is because YouTube has issued me a warning that if I do not have 4,000 hours of viewing and 1,000 subscribers by the 20th of February 2018 I'm losing my ability to to place ads on my videos. Now I quit placing ads on my videos uh, or to most of them um, about a year or two ago because I realized they were defrauding me because here's what they do they pay people that have these AdSense accounts based on how many people watch their videos and how many minutes they watch the videos. So if they just lock down and make it look like nobody watched your videos, sorry, nobody watched your videos, not one person, not one person, not one new person in a year has watched this video. It's one of the top on the, on the, uh, you know, search if under this very popular topic, but not one person. Oh, and the, the video below you, on, on this very popular search um, has 6 million views, but yours is still stuck at 20,000 views. So, so essentially, I am in the advertising business. I've sold television, radio, cable time. I've worked at ad agencies um, in, all along the West Coast, San Francisco, LA, Portland, and now in Kansas City. And I know how these things work. They are charging... There, there's a lot of um, internet digital fraud. Everybody tells you, oh, you got to go digital. Oh, you got to advertise on digital. If I had a, a nickel for how many times I go in and talk to a, a client about advertising and they say, oh, I'm all digital. Well, isn't that just hunky dory? You can't prove a thing. You can't, you can't translate. You can tell how many people clicked and saw your ad. But that doesn't necessarily translate into how many people actually came in and bought it or clicked on it because they wanted to go follow it and go find your stuff. It's all smoke and mirrors as far as I'm concerned. Some videos they've found, but some, some people have researched it and then they've looked further, deeper into how many clicks uh, or how many ads they've seen and they've seen looked for the size of the ad that was, per, that was uh, seen on this one particular whatever um, platform and they found that the dimensions of the ad are zero by zero. They were, it was not really an ad that was seen. So what I believe is happening, I believe YouTube is doing, is I believe they are charging the clients for watching my video. And they are uh, they're watching, they're charging the clients, the clients for watching the video, but yet they're not attributing that view of the per of the, the that they're charging to the advertiser to me to my website to my YouTube account so therefore they don't have to pay me for bringing viewers to my 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 video and attracting viewers so that they can sell the advertising time to the advertiser but they're charging the advertiser that's what I believe is happening because it doesn't make sense and it's all content that they don't really like so, I think I know why this is all happening. Uh, there's a fella that just left the parent company of YouTube. And that would be um, it, it, the, the CEO of Google, because Google owns YouTube. So, he left. And I want to tell you a little bit more about the fact that the, uh, Eric Schmidt, I believe his name is, he left. And I think this is why he left. So I'm going to show that to you. Let me shrink this down a little bit. Okay. This is an executive order blocking the property of persons involved in serious human rights abuses. I tried the video camera and tried to follow a gal who wanted to uh, 
to see what was going on inside and wanted to see about um, how she could get registered. And she was denied access by the protesters. They were being uh, abusive and rude. Oh, why are you trying to keep, what are you trying to keep well, wrong? Trying to keep Let me get a bit of video of you. Let me get some video of you. No, no, no. Hey, come on. Okay. Well, this is okay, well, you can't touch my camera. I'm not touching your camera. Maybe you can explain to me why. I'm sorry, you are on private property. Really? Who's the private property owned by? Farm Workers Union. Uh huh. So you all are Farm Workers Union leave, members? Have, have oh, I'm leaving. Okay, is this private property? This is on the sidewalk. This is pro not private property. Yeah, <laughs> Ma'am, you can't pee in the bushes there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you might be able to write an article for the Alliance.